But if somebody is literally able to buy one garment in a year and that's that, they are not the problem. I think expressing ourselves through our appearance, whether it's with our hair or makeup and certainly our clothing, is very deeply human. Part of the problem is that we now have very fleeting relationships with clothing. Textiles are a priority for sanitation and they have been for a while. They make up 6% of the city's residential waste stream, which adds up to 200,000 tons a year on average, and that's just the residential waste stream. I think that's part of the issue in New York is that we're not really aware of what we're getting rid of because we put it out on the curb, the trucks take it away, and then it disappears. It's one thing when you're doing something in your own apartment or your own home, and then you look at your whole building, your whole block, your whole borough, and then the city as a whole. And, and then it's a, you know, a completely different picture. Instead of looking at the choices that people are making, how about we look at the options that they have? Even if they know that this was made in a condition where people aren't treated fairly, they can't particularly have a solution for it because of their financial situation. As a designer, it's my responsibility to create more options. I wanted to start Refashion Week because there was a need here in New York City to kind of bring sustainable, ethical, conscious fashion more to the masses and kind of increase access to that. It's really difficult to have some people consider what happens to things after it leaves our possession. What we find pride in, Positive Obsession finds pride in, through a difficulty, is really getting people to, to connect with their clothes on a spiritual level. Like connect to the stories, connect to, to who gave it to you, connect to the time in your life that you are going through that thing. Six incredible stylists have worked with three thrift stores, including Housing Works, Goodwill and Paws for Paws to make 12 fabulous looks. Models, start your engines, <laughs> and may the best stylist win. <laughs> This week has been incredible to see this turnout in the first year, to see people so engaged in the sustainable fashion world, to see people from, who are from outside of the sustainable fashion world. But the eventual hope is that this isn't necessary, that we don't differentiate sustainable fashion from regular fashion. The goal eventually is to make sure that fashion is sustainable. Unfortunately, there's no kind of simple solutions and simple answers but I, I, over the years, I've gotten quite comfortable with that too. It's like, I don't resist the complexity anymore and I don't resist the difficulty anymore.